Alright, so Jack and I just made a bunch of Zwing HQ stickers for customers that come through to the shop. We're gonna head down now, install the flywheel, clutch, starter, and maybe if we have time, we'll throw on the T56. Got the drivetrain components laid out on the ground. Before we go any further, we're gonna throw our tile wastegate up into the bottom of the exhaust manifold. All right, guys, it's time to install our Clutch Masters lightweight flywheel. Jack went ahead and cleaned up the back of the motor. We've got the uh, pilot bearing installed. Now we're going to throw up the flywheel. All right, now I'm gonna put some red Loctite on these bolts. That should be enough. Some people obsess over making sure it gets all over the threads. Once you start screwing these things in, it's gonna naturally spread itself out. I find myself doing the same thing, but it's not necessary. All right, we've got a 22 millimeter wrench on the crankshaft, pushed up against the power steering pulley, and now I can sit here and torque on these bolts. And a star pattern. No piece of shit cost your life. Cost shit like you got no piece. Cost shit like you got no piece. Talk to me, y'all working like mice. Alright, flywheel is torqued on. Time to put on the clutch. Alright, so here is the pressure plate, gyms. Here we've got the clutch discs. Clutch alignment tool. Now it's all together. All right, we've got the clutch up in the air. Who got you that one? The guy is from QuickTime? Yeah, actually Holly. Oh, really? Yeah. Thanks guys from Holly. You guys uh, saving, saving the day. About to throw this up here for the fourth time. <laughs> For real. Zwing can actually fit his right through that. Yeah. I had to drop everything because my dumbass forgot to put this stupid plate on. Yeah, Zwing goes hard. Buy it. Super. No, hard. tell him the truth. You, you, you practice. I was you practicing. <laughs> That's exactly what I was doing. Practicing. Look at that. Wow. All right. Got the plate on, flywheel and clutch bolted up. All right, guys. Next, we're throwing on the clutch master cylinder. And under here. All right. That's now on. We're going to pull out our clutch lines. This is the one that's gonna go to our clutch pedal. This is gonna be our bleeder. So this basically just hangs off. And then when you need to bleed the clutch, as long as you have access to this, you can basically point this into a Gatorade bottle, gravity bleed it, or do whatever you need to. But this is the bleeder, and this is the feeder. Trans up in the air, getting ready to go into the back of the bell housing. Gonna need to lower the lift as this is pretty much maxed out. So when we first fit the T56 Magnum, we had to cut a slot out of the trans tunnel. But when I put the ZF in to run the shifter that I had, I needed to re-weld in this plate on the bottom. So now we're ready to take it back off 
This prohibits the uh, shifter from going into place. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off. Definitely was not able to install the trans with the exhaust on, so I went ahead and pulled it out. This thing's pretty badass, and it's it's all slip fit, so it comes right on and comes right off very easily. Super nice design, love this thing. Dropped the uh, clutch again because having issues getting the input shaft in. Uh, clearly, the clutch is the correct teeth count. Now, here's a pilot bushing that the inner diameter, as you can see, is very, like it very perfectly fits. There's not, there's no play, but it also went on very easily. You'll see the same thing with our clutch alignment tool, which obviously is the same size. There's no play and it fits on really easily. And I believe the reason we're having a tough time getting this transmission installed is, let me show you what it's like putting the input shaft into the pilot bearing that's installed. You hear that? That's a little too tight. So what we're gonna do is take a drill bit. I know it sounds crazy, but I don't think it's all that far-fetched except for the fact that it's gonna spin yeah. while we try to drill it, but. Trial and error. Maybe not, we'll see. Try to maybe get the inside yeah. diameter a little bigger. I think it's a. Uh... officially installed the transmission and so now we're gonna measure the output shaft of the differential the distance here flip it upside down we're gonna measure the distance to the center of the yoke um, and you want to have about an inch out okay, let's first measure that make sure we've got an inch it looks like 43 and a half inches is what we need Touching the back here. Is that touching the back? Yep. Yeah, 43. back in one piece. Motor, trans installed. Just gotta get that custom drive shaft put on. Like it got no price. 